Welcome to the Foundations of Science course at Michigan State University. Throughout this course, we'll repeatedly compare claims made in pseudoscientific manners compared to those that are scientifically based. As this course progresses, we will look at such topics as astrology versus astronomy, the lost continent of Atlantis versus plate tectonics, alchemy versus chemistry, and the Loch Ness Monster and Bigfoot versus ecology and evolution. What we will find is that by following the concepts of matter and those of energy and the different disciplines, we can form a framework that will allow you to critically think about the likelihood of these pseudoscientific claims. We're going to start this journey with the field of psychology. Psychology is the study of the human mind and how it functions. There are many different subdisciplines, for example, behavioral neuroscience, which looks at the biology behind thinking and feeling. Scientists in this field might investigate the effects of pharmaceuticals on brain function and then behavior. Developmental psychology, which looks at how thoughts and feelings change as you grow from a baby through adulthood and into old age and death. For example, how does your ability to learn change as you get older? Social psychology, which looks at how individual thoughts and feelings interact within group level dynamics, and other subdisciplines include clinical psychology, personality psychology, industrial organizational psychology, education psychology, and health psychology. For this module, we'll be looking at a very specific aspect that falls under cognitive psychology, which looks at how people obtain, process, and store information. We will be focusing our attention on people's ability to observe and reason from their experiences. And for this, our pseudoscience comparison, we will be looking at these ideas with the context of witches. This will in turn allow us to see why science and critical thinking are important skills for people to have and will set the stage for our comparison of science and pseudoscience for the rest of the course. So check out the rest of the materials in this week's module and let's get started.